has been on our page here, and this way I'll be reviewing set number 60071. This set costs £25, and it's called Waterplane Chase. Mefield set, and the first Mefield set is a pilot Mefield. And as you can tell, he is a Lego City police pilot because he has this police emblem. And other than that, he has some very nice printing on his torso and legs. The legs sort of have a printing with a map and a zipped up pocket. And there's some very nice lines on the torso to show all sorts of pockets and pouches. And the printing also shows that he has a white t-shirt on underneath his flight suit. And he has some sort of pockets here. And this green uh, blob here. I have no idea what that's meant to be, but it's there. His face print is very nice. It shows some orange goggles and that's he's got a smiley face. And uh, other than that, there's some printing around the back, which is just some basic line printing. And his helmet is a plain white helmet with a tinted visor. And that's it for this pilot movie thing. So here's the second movie for the set. And the second movie for the set is a standard Swan Police robber who appears in basically all the sets, if not all of them. But he's still quite a nice movie thing. I really like this movie thing. I mean, he has a sort of necklace of uh, crocs teeth. And that's pretty nice since there's a crocodile included in his set. Well, it might be an alligator. They might be alligator teeth. It doesn't really matter. It's a nice print. And he has a grey t-shirt on and an open sort of prison jacket. I am sort of wish he'd hidden that so he doesn't look like a crook. So I could use this uh, torso for other minifigs with uh, crocodile necklaces. But it's no big deal, I guess. And I guess the stripes aren't that obvious, so it's not particularly a big deal. Uh, he does have baggy trousers shown by the print on the torso and the legs. And he also has a string to tie those around his waist so they don't fall down. And uh, that print continues around to the back. He has a basic beanie cap, and his legs are in dark tan. His face is just a standard crook face, and that's been seen in many, 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 many LEGO City sets. I mean, that is like the most generic LEGO City face ever. I mean, it's just an angry scowl with a monobrow and some stubble. So a nice face print, but a very common one, a generic one. And overall, I'd say this me think it's very nice, yet very, very generic and common first build of the set. And the first build of the set is a really nice red truck. I mean, the colour of it looks really nice, and the black contrasts well with the red, although the blue doesn't really work well. I'm not sure why they used blue there. And one other thing is, the front really doesn't look that good. I mean, the lights look nice, and this engine detail here is good, but the whole front section here, with the blue showing and the fact that it's so sort of generic, and doesn't even have any redeeming features, really isn't that good. And one thing that I do like though, is these steps up here. And that's really quite a nice detail, and definitely sort of makes sense. So you just uh, sort of take any minifig who is in the set, this one isn't, but I just took them off another set, which I reviewed just earlier, but they just grab onto there and climb into the window, and perhaps peek out of the window, and that looks really cool, and works really well. Another feature I like is this sort of bed back here. I mean, there's not much you can really do with it, but it looks really nice. There's a oar clipped onto here, and there's a shovel clipped onto here. And I just realised, if you take this off, then you can sort of use the space in here for some hidden stuff as well. And I think you're meant to put the money in there, so that sort of works well, I guess, as a sort of hidden compartment, and that's easy to take off. And uh, also, uh, there's a ball hitch at the back, and um, there's also a little bit of space in here for a minifig. There's a steering wheel, and there's yet more blue showing for some reason. I mean, with the steering wheel, it sort of makes sense and blends in. But on the front and sort of in there, you can't really see it. But uh, in there, there's lots of blue, and that really doesn't fit the red and black colour scheme at all, really. So, uh, overall, I don't particularly like this truck, although there are lots of features of it which are really good, and LEGO should implement into many different trucks. Although, then again, then it would become very generic, so, I don't know. But, yeah, some very nice features, but overall not a very good truck build. The second build of the set, and the second build of the set is a police biplane. I'd say I really like the overall colour scheme of this, which is yellow, dark blue, and white, and it looks really nice. Another nice feature about this is the front of it, which looks really nice because there's this propeller, which is pretty standard for a biplane, but then there's this really nice sort of curved off piece and this sort of car um, wheel hubcap piece, and that just creates a really nice effect, and this sort of looks like it's the engine right there, which is really nice, and there's sort of some air outtakes on the side, a nice uh, sort of police sticker right here, 
There are four lights along here, which are in sort of blue and yellow, which are police colours, I think. And there's also a sticker, which reminds me of the LEGO City Undercover logo, only it sort of has wings, although that one may have had wings as well, but if you play the game, you'll know which logo I mean. It looks a lot like that logo, which is a really cool sort of Easter egg, almost. And uh, another feature is that you can take off the top, and that works really well and really smoothly. Inside there's a steering wheel, which is odd for a biplane, but whatever. Uh, there's also a very nice sort of cockpit area, and the Mafic seats in there very well, and they sort of look very happy driving it. Or flying it, I guess. Although, is it driving since there's a steering wheel? I don't know, but that's an odd feature to have in there. But anyway, there are these very nice sort of buoyancy pieces, which would make it float. Although, only imaginary, so it doesn't actually float. So, don't put it in water, or else it'll think, sink. So, uh, yeah. Also, there's a number two sticker, which shows that it's the second one in this police wave. So, if you've collected all the sets, then you'll have it as number two. And that's that. There's these very nice blue stripes going across the top, and that definitely creates a very nice effect. So I wish this bit was tiled off, although then this bit wouldn't stand out quite so well. So I get why they did that, and that sort of looks nice. And this whole, whole sort of upper uh, section of it looks really nice, and has a really nice flow to it. There's also a really nice bit at the back with the sort of tail wing. And overall, I really like this biplane, and it also has a very nice tinted window. And yeah, overall, I really like this uh, biplane. It looks really good, especially for a Lego City biplane in such a cheap set. Well, I don't really like how this sort of slopes up and isn't sort of curved like the rest of the build. But other than that, it's a really good biplane. So here's some other stuff included in the set. First of all, there's this really nice alligator, which is a really great mold. It has some really nice sort of molded details, and it has these nice printed eyes. The tail can move, the mouth can move, it can bite onto a minifix arm or a chicken leg, or anything sort of bar-sized, and it can buy onto quite a few things. It's in a nice dark green colour, the eyes definitely look very menacing, and overall it's a very nice crocodile. The other thing, which is another thing included in the set, is a very nice side build. I mean, it's very nice looking, but what it actually does isn't that good. So, it looks really nice with sort of this plant out here, a flower on top of the plant, a bit of grass around here, and general sort of swampy details, a rock in the middle, Although, one thing which I don't like is this. I mean, you lift up this and there's some money inside. Whilst that works well, it sort of doesn't really make much sense. I mean, if I saw someone opening a rock and just taking money and gold out, I think that looks a bit suspicious. Heck, even if they didn't take anything out, it would look suspicious. I mean, rocks don't usually open up unless you use a pickaxe on them. I mean, you know, just try it. Try opening up a rock. I'm just saying, you know, doesn't really make much sense as a sort of place for the crook to hide his money and gold. And the money and gold are quite nice pieces though, so there's a shiny metallic gold bar, and there's the same printed 100 uh, bill of some kind, or sort of cash piece, which has been used in many of the sets in this wave. And overall these builds are good, the crocodile's definitely good, this is uh, adequate I could say. I mean, the sort of hiding the money feature works better in our sets, but it's okay for what it is. Overall, I like the plane build in the set, apart from the windscreen use, since it has a car windscreen. The uh, truck isn't anything new, it's sort of generic. The minifigs are sort of standard. The crocodile and side build are okay, especially the crocodile is good. And overall, I'd probably give it a 6 out of 10, and that's the this review. If you enjoyed this review, don't forget to like and subscribe. I'll see you later, alligator.